I am going to remove the front bumper cover um, of my 991.1 GTS. Not the first time this has been uh, documented on film. Um, I really just wanted to do this uh, uh, as an update to, um, to my blog post from some time back where I did a step-by-step -step instruction with still photos and I wanted to do one with, uh, with video this time. And I haven't had the front bumper cover off of this car uh, since I got it. I've had this car eight months or so, um, seven, eight months. And uh, I need to take it off because I want to install uh, radiator protectors, um, the grill inserts uh, from Renline. And I have them. Uh, I've had them for some time now. I actually bought them right when I got the car and never got around to putting them on because life happens. Much higher priorities for my uh, kids and family, um, to be honest, than uh, making YouTube videos. Um, and then any other time I, uh, I get a chance, I take the car out and drive it, as you can tell by how dirty it is on the front here. Um, to get the bumper cover off, we're gonna need a T25 and a T30. Once you get everything off the front here, you've got it, or you know, everything undone, all of the, uh, the bolts, um, there's three across the top, I think there's eight underneath two in the fender wells, one inside the lights, or two including the one inside the, the underside of the lights, um, to get this off. And then uh, from inside the, the frunk, you have to, after you get the headlights out, you have to pull, the, pull a pin out or a, a, a clamp that is um, also holding the, the front bumper cover in place. That's all you need. You don't need any other tools. Uh, I'll probably just get a mat to throw on the floor to to see underneath. Um, you don't have to have the car up on a lift for this. I was gonna ride up on the ramps, on my Gorilla ramps, um, but uh, I didn't realize the front end of the GTS uh, is a little bit lower front lip than, than the, uh, the C4S that I had that didn't have it. Um, so I saw it was gonna probably rub as it went up the, the ramp and maybe even push the ramp out of the way. So. I decided not to try to use the ramps. Um, and so I think I can reach under there, no problem, and, and see. So anyway, I'm gonna get started uh, removing all the, the, the bolts, then I'll get the headlights out, um, and then I'll pull, the, pull everything else out. So let me get the, the first thing I'll do is you got to take these trim pieces off. So I'm going to take all this trim out and I'll start with the top piece. Amazing plastic. Be nice to have a carbon fiber one, although it'd be heavier, I'm sure. So I'll put this to the side. And have to pull these pieces off. These should just pop out as well. And actually, I don't have to remove it all the way, but just for sake of seeing underneath, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull them out. There's a number of little connectors along the edges here. And I noticed this piece actually has a, a crease in it that looks like it's ripping along the, the inside edge that, um, I'm gonna see if I can get that covered under warranty. Uh, there's no reason why that should be doing that. Um, so you can see when, I, when you pull it out, release the back first and it just pops out. I learned my lesson on the last car. I tried to pull it from this way back and I didn't realize it was being held in place by um, some slots down at this end. And you could very easily break one of these, these off, the tabs. So I'll put this aside. Looks like they might. This side is a little in a little more tightly. Get all these pieces out. There we go. And this side doesn't have. You probably can't see it, but this side doesn't have that a little tear in this. So I think this piece is fine. Um, it's on the other side 
that uh, I have that issue. So I'm going to probably try to try to get that replaced under warranty parts. No reason a piece of plastic like that should start to to come apart. And then uh, I saw one instruction that removed the gasket from around the the front opening down here, and um, I don't think you have to take it out. I think the trick is you just got to get this up over it so you can release this off. And there's some tension, there's some yeah, little snaps holding this in place too. There we go. And those should just pop out. Yes, they do. And then you just got to slide it over the, the latch. There we go. And this one, got to be careful as well. I can see on this one there's a, looks like a clamp missing. There's these little tension clamps. Maybe it fell off. I have to look for it. Um, that fit into these slots. It should be this one right here. It doesn't look like it's there. So there's a good chance it fell off. They just slide out. They're like little clips. And there's usually a piece of, a uh, little piece of rubber or something over them. But it doesn't look like those pieces are on these. Um, except for one of them. So uh, when I get this cover off, I'll look down in here and see if um, see if it fell off in there anywhere. But so far, so good. This piece is in good shape, just a little dirty. Maybe I'll uh, I'll treat all those pieces before I put them back on. Um, so yeah, you can see the three. I think these are T25s here. Uh, the clip for the headlights, I believe, is right inside these two edges right here. So once you get once you get the headlight out, you pull these clips, and, and that's the final thing to release the uh, uh, release the bumper cover. Some dirt got in here because I can I can feel it, and as I'm turning these, I can hear the dirt rubbing. So this you don't need to have two people to do this either. I mean, as you can see, I'm going to do it myself. Um, it's a very light piece. Really, isn't much to to worry about dropping it or anything like that. Um, you know, and, and it won't just fall off. Uh, <laughs> thank goodness it doesn't just fall off, but um, yeah, it won't that's, fall off. There's two T25s right here and here, well, right here and here, and that should loosen up the, the wheel lining, the wheel well liner. And then I'll get the ones underneath. My life. I really like, uh, I enjoy the cars and everything, but I am not going to spend my time obsessing over every little thing on this car. So there's one clamp under there. So let's do the ones underneath. Because I think... I'm going to do a time check. And there should be six of them or something like that. Let's see. One, two... Let's start getting them out. The other way. Also, amazing how much abuse this underside can take, and not having issues either. Pretty plus impressive. Paint job, really. Think about it. Paint analysis.
that's yes. Four here. Side here. Oops. There's two on the sides. Still haven't been able to justify putting a lift in here. I don't need to store a car or anything like that, which is usually one of the benefits of having one is you can store cars above and below perhaps, but for all the things I do on my cars, or I should say on this car, I don't think I really needed it so far. I'm sure I could find reasons to use it, but thousand bucks don't know if it's really worth that worth it okay so that should be everything hmm. that should be all of the bolts that way now I gotta get the lights out take those pins out but I got when I take the lights out on this side of the car is my connector hose for the spray nozzles. And um, you have to disconnect it there so you can pull the bumper cover off. And when I do that, uh, I gotta try and pull the, pull the, the cable over to the side because it's, um, it's gonna start leaking right away. But let me get the lights out first and we'll deal with that in a minute. It's just a quick turn, a little turn to the right. I mean, to the, from under to the front and it pops, it starts to pop out. Oops, keep going. There we go. And these, you just gotta watch the edges. You don't scratch your fender and just get a good hold on it and pull the connector off and that's it. Amazing how good this shape is, considering how much abuse it probably takes. Oh, it's uh, not sitting flush the way it should. Okay. Oops. I always think it's funny, like when you first when you first put your thing in here, you're fumbling around trying to get to connect and every once in a while it just happens. <laughs> there we go. And the same thing here, just be careful with pointed out the side here. Don't drop it, whatever you do. go. Second one, a couple bug marks on it, but should be good. All right, so I got everything off there, and the pins, are, the clamps I was talking about are right inside here, and you can actually see them from the other side too, so when you pull on one side, you can push on the other, or <laughs> didn't even need a tool, and uh, you just pull it straight out. And again, I have these on my, uh, I have this on my, my blog as well. I take these other two, there's two bolts in here and then I gotta re undo the, um, undo the washer. T20, T30s are inside here facing this way from inside the oil well. Hmm. 
So on this one, it is a T30. I'm holding the wheel well liner out of the way while I loosen this. And I'm just being very careful not to hit. You might want to put some tape on the cover here, but as long as you're not banging it, it should be all right. So I just want to get that out. I think on the, the C4S, I got to this point where I was trying to pull the, the wheel well liner all the way out of the wheel well, and it was a pain in the ass. I may still have to do that because I think there might be, there might be a connector behind it over here that I'm going to have to, to pull off. But uh, let me do the other side. Self about how it goes in. Okay, this one's a little longer. All right, so those. Somebody told me to get a, I think last time I did this, when I pulled off the, the hose for the windshield washer, I mean the, uh, the headlight washers, I think when I did that, I just capped the, the end of it. Um, somebody told me I should just pull it off and, and push it down real quick through the, the wheel well into a bucket and let it, let it drip. I don't know if I like that idea. Let me see what's, because it'll probably, it'll probably run down the tire more than anything else. So let me think about that for a minute. The electrical connection. I'll lose it. I just have to get this one last clip out, and I think there's electrical connectors behind the behind here. From what he said, there's going to be a connector behind this. Number two. Okay, so I should be able to start pulling this off <laughs> like that.
remember now this is kind of a tricky part where you have to get these electrical connectors for all the gear in the front off. And there are these silly Molex connectors way down inside the wheel. Oh, I can feel the connector, but that doesn't mean you can actually get to it. that if you, if you try to deform the I found I found that if you go in from the here and push down on the up the top side of the wheel well liner you can actually reach down here and the, the connector is right here, the Molex is right there. And you kind of have to push it apart or pull it apart. Try to do it without stripping anything. There we go. So that should allow this to come free. If we push it down here so it doesn't get bound. So here's the connector connects into that piece right there. And there's one on the other side. Along the top, I can do the same thing. Just to get to it, it's underneath in the back here. There we go. There we go, that was easier. And just push it out again like we did the other one. All right, so everything is off. This should just keep sliding right off unless I have, now this is the first time I've messed with a GTS that may have a connector, uh, maybe not. Hopefully it just slides on here. Should be able to just slide it right off now. Not. Not break anything. Okay, something is, oh. My washer hose was bound up on something. And maybe the same on the other side. Let me check. go. All right. And voila. Bumper cover off. Oh, now there's stuff coming out. <laughs> so that's it.